On the point, Tatiana, that Olga just raised about Kyiv, she says that uh, uh, you know the the, the 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 sense is that Russia, at least what Olga is saying, is that Russia is trying to make uh, you know a series of military setbacks into some kind of a virtue. Uh, you know, making it sound like we never intended to take Kyiv. You know, we're going to reduce hostilities in Kyiv. Whereas Olga says that that's because you couldn't take it and you tried to. How would you respond to that? Oh, of course they did. We didn't do know try also. To. Just no, sorry to interrupt. We do know also that the Ministry no, of Defense of Russia had said that uh, you know a couple of days ago that there was no intention to take Kyiv as well. So, yeah, respond. There was no intention to take Kyiv. I mean, they were bombing the military installations. And we've all seen those pictures, you know, that, that infamous mall that was bombed and then, then pictures appeared all over the Ukrainian internet, but I'm sure that my Ukrainian colleague is going to deny them, that there were armored vehicles and uh, fighting points in that same mall. And you can see that. I mean, uh, <laughs> pictures worth a thousand words, whatever we, uh, you know, we talk about. Uh, look. It's very plain and simple. I mean, uh, Mariupol is also proving to be very difficult, but the intention was to take it and it is being taken, however difficult it might be. And we know that the Azov battalion is going to fight until the death because they know what they're facing if they mm. get captured. They're facing a trial for all the monstrosities that they've been committing. Uh, the videos are all over the internet. I know you've seen them, Shiv. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Those videos I sent. I mean, we we've literally um, even even it even made it into the American media, which is astonishing that they're admitting to those crimes, and those crimes are documented in the UN as well. Okay. I well, mean, look, look. If they wanted to take Kiev. It would have been the same story, but it's yeah. a big city. There's a lot of civilian population in there. And again and again and again, the Russian military has not been targeting civilian population. They've been trying to avoid civilian casualties at all costs, Okay, which is exactly why Kiev was meant to be surrounded, not taken. Those are two very different you know, concepts. I want to, I, okay, I, I want to move to the next point of what Russia said. Sorry, but, may uh, I answer uh, just yeah, because... Olga, you can respond. I, 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 saw, I saw you, I saw you uh, uh, making an expression at what uh, Tatiana said. So I, I'll give you 30 seconds to respond to that and then I'll go to the next point. Olga. Yeah, just because one point is that um, atrocities which were done by the Russian army and Mariupol is also a big city, like 500,000 people there. So it's also a pretty big city and how Russia was shelling residential areas, this all is also um, like written down. We have appealed about this and we have also lots of lots of um, evidences. So what Tatiana is speaking and what you're doing is that the country that invaded my country and you're just putting my word against the country, against the representative of the public state media of the country that just invaded my country. So we're just like opposing one uh, one another. She she talks about that she, uh, well, uh, yeah, we if we want to invade, we would invade. If we want to take, we want to take. So this is not the point. They were killing people. Russian army was killing people. And what, it, what, what you were talking about now, just they were sieging Ukrainian towns, Ukrainian cities. They were trying to, uh, to get to Kyiv, they were repelled. They were, they were not uh, able to get to Mariupol because there was severe uh, repelling of them. So they were just banning people to get out through humanitarian corridors. Okay. So I'm now in the Western Ukraine where we have lots of people who came from Mariupol. I heard their stories. I've seen this and lots of this information also in the media as and, well. And, and in, this is no, in absolutely. I, I, you know, the, the, the devastation and damage in civilian areas is plain for, uh, you know, for people to see. There are images coming from everywhere. India Today has got reporters on the ground. Uh, you know, India Today's foreign affairs editor is about to reach Mariupol. We'll have a first-hand reporter on the ground. Uh, you know, but I don't want to get caught into this face-off uh, between both sides. I want to try and discuss more substantive issues on a day when we are, for the first time, hearing the word de-escalation. Uh, you've expressed your skepticism, Olga, that's noted. Tatiana, you said that concessions have been made.